Hey guys, what's up? Nick Leo from Dope Motions and welcome to this brand new tutorial. Today we're gonna be take a look at how to create this cool speech bubble effect in the Illustrator. It's very easy and very simple to make. You can even use the speech bubbles as a vector banner or something. So let's just get started. First of all, I'll create a new artboard. I like to keep it 1920 into 1080. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the rectangle to and just draw roughly draw a rectangle let's just color it and I'm going to select this anchor point tool and I'm going to draw a precise shape so maybe right here look good then I'm going to right click go to transform and go to reflect I'm going to reflect it vertically 90 degrees you can see it right this and copy it and I'm going to hold alt and shift on the keyboard and drag this in the center a little looks pretty good then what I'm going to do is I'm going to first of all I'll just change the color so that we can see it more properly. I'm going to select the pen tool and I'm going to click on this anchor point, go right here and I'm going to create that speech bubble triangle which gives the look of a speech bubble. I'm going to go right here and unite it. Just put it back so arrange and send it back. Yep, looks good. Then what I'm going to do is we're going to color it so let's just select this layer and I'm gonna hit this gradient tool and I'm gonna select the color so let's just keep it let's see I'm gonna make this darker red maybe like this I'm gonna select this white and I'm gonna make this a lighter maybe an orangish yep looks pretty good and then I'm gonna do the same thing to the stroke but this time I'm gonna make the red a little bit more darker and orange a little bit more lighter right this I'm gonna increase this to maybe let's see five yep five looks good then I'm gonna do the same thing but with different colors to this layer so I'm gonna select this and I'm gonna change the colors so let's just select a pretty cool color let's just make it a maybe darker blue and just select this color and I'm gonna make it a lighter blue looks pretty good I'm going to select the stroke, apply the same thing, again the same thing, make it a more darker, maybe right here, and a more lighter, like this, looks good, just increase it a little, maybe a 5, yep, looks pretty good. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this layer, select the anchor point tool, and just I'm going to make the corners a little curvy, so I don't want it to be a harsh, you know. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this layer, select the anchor point tool, but this time I'm going to select this, this anchor point, hold shift, select this anchor point and this anchor point. Then I'm going to drag this a little bit at cause. We don't want this corner to get curved, so we selected the anchor points and curved it. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this, go to effect, stylize and drop shadow. So I'm going to make this 50%. Let's move it to minus 5, negative 5. And I'm going to make this a 5 as well. And I'm going to make this a 7. Now, these are my settings. So, you can just copy it down. Or you can use it. Whatever you want, you know. Yeah. So, then what I'm going to do is. I'm going to select the pen tool. And create the cool reflections. That we saw in my speech bubble. Which I showed you at the start of the tutorial. So let's just, you know, we can roughly draw, just roughly, you know, don't need to be precise. And I'm going to make this uh, white. And I'm going to make it right there. Then let's just select this layer, hold shift and select this layer, go to the shape builder tool. And I'm going to hold alt and just delete the parts that we don't want it. Just click it right away. And then I'm going to select this layer and I'm going to make the transparency to 10%. Looks damn cool. Then we can, what we can do is we can also add the transparency effect or the reflection effect to the behind layer. So for that what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the pen tool. But this time I'm going to create a different reflection right this. Maybe a little bit right there. And I'm going to just roughly draw it. I'm going to make this white no strokes so unfill the stroke and I'm gonna do the same thing let's just select this go to shape builder tool and hold alt and delete this 
just click it right away we'll go right here and make this 10 percent as well and then i'm gonna go to my layers and i'm gonna drag this reflection behind the orange layer so it is behind it and i'm gonna make this maybe seven percent yep looks good so we are almost done with it then let's just create a shadow you know so let's just go to the ellipse tool and just draw a circle right there make it black go to effect go to blur and gaussian blur yep this much blur is okay i'm okay with it maybe let's just keep it right there go to transparency and i'm gonna make this 12 percent looks pretty good then the final thing what is we we can do is we can add a text so let's just add a text let's just make it a 36 and instead of speech bubble i'm gonna write dope motions because you can also use this as a title or a, as a banner you know for your channel art youtube channel art or something looks pretty good i'm gonna i'm gonna make it white so bam looks pretty good and i hope you learned something new today and thanks for watching guys more tutorials are coming really soon they are gonna be a little bit more longer more intricate and you know more informative so thanks for watching guys Thank you.